you, Michael. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, uh, Startup Bootcamp team, for this wonderful event. I mean, give them a hand. They deserve it. They've been working so hard. <laughs> and as Michael mentioned, when we joined Startup Bootcamp, we, at the same day, and I let you guys know that, signed the term sheet for our seed round of $1 million. So thank you for that also helping us out. So my name is Gideon Jory, and I'm the CEO of FinCom. And everybody here has databases. And if I would tell you, write my name. My friends call me Giddy. It's a short name. How would you spell it? Let's think about it. And now you're going to see a big problem that I have. I go to Starbucks. We all here love coffee. We've seen these cups. And everybody's misspelling my name. And this is a problem that all of you are going to have in your databases, misspelling of names. Now, we have a fully developed product. Yes, we've developed this over a long period, and the company has come out with it since these few months. And what we're managing to do is match entries between different databases across 23 different languages, even if it's misspelled, and even if it's in different structures, enabling you to comply with specific KYC, anti-money laundering AML regulations, and the new GDPR regulations, specifically privacy. And what are we doing? So let's talk about AML, anti-money laundering. You have to verify name against databases. Guys, every transaction now has to be done. And not only banks, everybody, insurance companies, e-commerce, travel. But if money talks, these fines, money's screaming. I mean, it's screaming out loud. You have to have a solution that can match names quickly even if they're misspelled. It doesn't work. You need great accuracy, efficiency, and it doesn't need to cost you an arm and a leg. The GDPR privacy solution is a huge, complex problem. It's finding the data of the person throughout the entire database to the individual. Now, we all have multiple databases. They're unstructured, and I, as I mentioned, we misspell. It's a fact of life. It's nothing sinister. This problem is exactly what we're doing. We're finding you, instead of the so-called 60 hours that it'll take you guys, in a minute. In one minute, we'll match the entire database information per the individual. How do we do this? We have a multi-level proprietary technology. First of all, we have a bunch of algorithms running in the space of phonetic fingerprinting. It's our own proprietary statement. It takes a name and turns it into a phonetic language, a baseline new mathematical language that enables us to match apples to apples. That is encompassed with an artificial intelligence system that looks at birth dates and other attributes to reduce the false positives to a minimum. As somebody mentioned here, a bunch of false positives is extremely costly, and we have no false negatives, which could even cost you more. But you know what? I think the best way to do this is actually to show it. Liran, my counterpart of up there, can you please go into the system? Thanks. Now, I want to show you a very nice guy, which I've never met. His name is Arkady Rottenberg. This is him. He's a very good friend of Mr. Putin. And he's on a sanction list. And if we think about Arkady, his first name, how would we write it? Any ideas? Is it with a K? Is it with a C? Is it with a Y at the end? Liran, write it as you hear it. Arkady Rottenberg. OK, now let's search. Give us a second. This is still going into the cloud. And here we are. And please open it up a little bit. Look at the first name. Liran, you wrote it with a C. And in the EU section, yes, it's with a K and a double I. Who writes with a double I at the end? Let's do something else. Show them how we do this cross language. Take the Russian name. Yes. Liran, thank you. Give us a second. This does take a little bit of time, much less if you would have an expert trying to do this. This is automated. No data found? Here we go. Oh, 
Okay. So we searched in Russian, and we still found it in English. The idea is very simple. Sometimes we misspell names. Sometimes we don't know how to spell it even in English. We need to give companies worldwide that have this obligation to meet the tools to meet it easily and effectively. Lastly, I want to show you the GDPR map. And this is important, and we'll do this extremely fast. The GDPR map enables us to look for a specific client. Um, look at Maddie Poquette. She asked us to erase her from our database. Maddie Poquette, if we look at Maddie Poquette, we cross-reference inf her information. On the top part, the top part shows the timestamp. The middle section shows the actual attributes that we have in the database. So under s article, under section 13, when we want to use this information, we have to show what we have and get permission. Here it is. You don't have to look too much. And on the bottom set, that's the databases. You could instantly erase. Liran, thank you. Let's go back. Our business model is simple. It's a per transaction. Yet, not euros, but cents. And a question of amount of transaction changes the amount of cents. Small amount, a few cents. A larger amount, a little bit more. But guys, very, very cost worthy. And it's either on premise or in a secure cloud. We're a great team. We've been working together for 14 years. We've had three another two startups that are doing extremely well right now. And we're here at the right time, at the right moment. And together with Startup Bootcamp, we've also set up strategic partnerships with Comsec and Capgemini, and we already have deals running in the business. What I'm asking you is challenge us. Don't believe us. Challenge us to let us fix your databases, ensure your compliance, and save you money. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay.